Well, hello and welcome to another Dark Souls video, this time completely uh, different than all the others. We're not going to play uh, any of our games today. What I'm going to do tonight is to show you a massive upgrade that I've just obtained uh, to Dark Souls. And with the latest news from Gen Con, I think this is one of the best, if not the best, info from latest Gen Con that Steam Forged decided to uh, revamp Dark Souls and release a new core set at the end of this year. I thought it was fantastic news. And what's what's better <laughs> to celebrate that news than some extra stuff for Dark Souls? Over the last two or three months, I've been uh, chatting with this fantastic, fantastic guy on Etsy. His shop is called Treasures in Troves, right? Treasures in Troves. I will leave a link to his shop in the in the description. And to tell you, to, to be honest with you guys, this video is in no way related with him, with his shop, with any regards. He doesn't even know I'm doing this. You know, when I opened the box after such a long period of waiting and I looked at all the minis, cards uh, and all the things that he printed, 3D printed and printed on paper for me, I, I am just, you know, breathless. Um, <clears throat> and the thing is that in September, majority of my Dark Souls collection uh, is going for the paint job, <clears throat> right? Uh, the core set, um, the forest expansion, what's it called? Dark Forest? No. Um, you know, Iron Keep, Explorers, everything. You know, all the small expansions are going for the paint job and I have a feeling that majority of the miniatures that I'm going to show you in just a moment will be joining the pack, right? So once again, a fantastic guy, the owner of the shop. I highly, highly recommend getting in touch with him if you're up, to, if you're, uh, up for some 3D prints. Not only, not necessarily Dark Souls, he, I, I think he's doing other miniatures too and if you have some STLs then I'm sure you can you know give it to him and he will um, he will do the job for you and you know it took us a while because I was so picky and on the other hand he was so uh, you know friendly and you know full of advice and he was coming up with lots of different ideas how to improve the order how to you know spice things up uh, and boost uh, the amount of uh, content for the game and you know at every stage of our conversations and you know uh, transactions i felt like he was looking after me as a customer so i you know i i really enjoyed this experience and what the, there's only one issue for me i'm from europe and he's from usa <laughs> so you can imagine when it got down to shipping we both looked at the shipping bill and we had a heart attack you know um the, the box just arrived at the airport in Warsaw the other day, this week, and the customs contacted me. And yeah, um, they had to clear it. So yeah, yeah. So with with all the crap that's going on in the world, if you're in, from the USA or Canada or, I don't know, Mexico or any other country that uh, the transport costs from the USA are not as punishing as they are to Europe, then you know just get in touch with him and, and 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 see what he can do for you right so enough of me talking um i don't even know where to start <coughs> to be honest with you i'll show you what we've uh, what we've managed to uh, to come up with <coughs> so we've printed a lot of the a lot of the tiles actual gameplay for the encounters with the bosses these are printed on a nice thick quality uh, print paper but what I'm going to do I'm going to glue it on the on the cardboard I have a I have a nice piece of cardboard and I will try to make it feel and look just like the original original stuff it is a very nice print quality of the print all the information here, I can perfectly read it. And to be honest with you, my sight is terrible, but that's actually very good. That's very good for me. I don't, e I don't even know who these uh, um, uh, encounter tiles are for. 
as you will see in just a moment, we have so many. Oh, some jungle tiles. Right. Very nice. I really enjoy it already. Um, I need to just go through these. There's plenty, plenty of them. Right. So that's one thing. The other thing I'm really excited about. This is something that we agreed to leave it like that. To save on time. Not on money, but on time. So this is the treasure. All the custom treasure that we could find at, at that moment. And look at that. Yeah. We have sacred flame. We have this nice silver cap ring. I don't want to read what they do. I don't want to spoil the... They are, they are of course, double-sided. Nice, nice thick paper. Um, I just need to cut it. I will do so over the weekend probably and I'll be ready to uh, put these in my in my loot bags. Some of them will probably a, be a replacement for the existing original stuff but the others I suppose will be brand new, right? So there's plenty of them. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. 100 new cards, something like that. There's how many? two four 16 per page and i'm sure you well that's even more if this is 16 per page i'm sure i have at least 10 pages here if not more so that's almost 200 items 200 new items will it break the game oh yeah i hope so <laughs> so that's another big thing waiting for us some more paperwork and we're going to spoil what we're going to see in just a moment I'm really especially excited about this, Sister Frida Boss Encounter. Right, so these are the custom-made rules. I don't know what they're all about. I haven't read them and I will not do so uh, now because I don't want to spoil uh, the excitement of exploration once I get to, um, to play these. So that's that. Unfortunately, this is black and white. I don't know why. But for some odd reason it is. It is the Soul of Cinder die workaround. Mm -hmm. Well, probably some extra rules. Oh, look at that. I think it's just the issue in printing that we had because the other side is in color. So more items, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Black Knights of Gwyn expansion. Some icons for them. We'll see them in just a moment. We have the Dark Souls, a compendium of lore, history and character information. So probably everything around about bits and pieces that we're going to encounter. And this is the other expansion I was looking forward to. The extended campaign. And this is quite thick as well. I don't know why it's black and white. Probably an issue in printing. Anyways. You know, plenty of campaigns and scenarios and upgrades to the original stuff, which we all know that it had some issues. I'm really anxious to see what guys at Steamforged uh, will come up with in terms of uh, the upgrade for the core set that we're going to see at the end of this year. All right, so some more encounters, right? <clears throat> Just like that. In they all include both old monsters and some new ones, which I'm going to introduce in just a moment. Right, do we have any more paperwork to go through? I suppose we do not, so we will begin with the cards. But before we do so, look at my fog gate. <laughs> Can you remember the token from the from the core set? Yeah, so this is going to be my fog gate. It looks like, you know, from the original game, doesn't it? It still has some leftovers from the print. I will leave it like that for just a moment because as I said this will be going for the for the paint job so I'll leave it to the painter to to you know to finish it off right let's just put it on the side oh and one more thing a funny funny thing uh, to tell you about I was rummaging through my whiskey cabinet today and I have this tendency to uh, to keep boxes empty boxes of whiskies that I enjoyed just for show because some of them look really nice and they they are like souvenirs like trophies but as if as um, uh, with uh, board games you know there is a time when you get so many that you can't get any more because you're out of space so from time to time you have to go through that and 
just make more room. And I was going through these, this cabinet today, trying to get rid of some of the old boxes, some of the, uh, some of the ones that I didn't enjoy that much, so that I should keep them. <coughs> and I actually bumped into one of their boxes and it was quite heavy. And I said, hang on a minute, this box is not empty. <clears throat> so I picked it up and lo and behold, there is a bottle of whiskey inside. And when I looked at it, it was this, Jura, age 12 years. And I said, hang on a minute, I can't remember buying that whiskey. I must have got it as a, as a gift from, from somebody. So, and I put it in the, in the kind of cabinet and I completely forgot about it. But, you know, when you find a bottle of whiskey in your cabinet that you forgot about its existence, you can't complain, can you? <laughs> Even if it's Jura, we know what Jura is like. It's a decent whiskey, you can sip it, you can, you can, you know, you sip it on the side and just forget about, you know, all the, all the crap, all the caramel, all the chill filtration, all, and all the bad things that they do to, to Jura. But Juras can be really, really nice. 16 year old, 18 year old, cask strength. These Juras are, are absolutely fantastic. This one isn't too bad. And if you want to buy it, it is widely available and reasonably cheap. You know, and for a 12 years old, for 35 to 40 euros, you can't really go that bad. Of course, you can get better whiskies at that price range. But, you know, when you find one in the cabinet, you can't complain, can you? <laughs> so we'll be sipping that on the side. Anyways, with this pack, <clears throat> what we received is a deck of cards that will replace the AI for the existing uh, original... Uh, enemies like alone sword knights bow knights and they have new abilities like rushing flash sword thrust and the other side of the card says when you can use it at which um, <clears throat> conditions then you have for example our favorite firebomb hollow right he has three ac actions actually if you remember the firebomb hollow one of the nastier ones especially in the beginning with their magic attacks now they have three different actions. They have a mud bomber and a two-handed slash, and there's a third one, and a main attack. Okay, so the, 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 the attack from the original card, I suppose. Hollow soldier, there you go. Right, let's pick one more. Oh, look at that, it boosts their defense system. That's quite interesting. Stone knights, All right? We have the ironclad soldiers. Who else do we have? Demonic foliage, look, an ambush. Lots of text there. I'm not going to read it now. right now. You can pause it and read it if you like. I'm quite interested to see. Look at that. There's more. A long night captain. Look at him. Three different actions. Yeah. And then so on and so forth. Crystal lizard. Crystal lizard again. I suppose a different card. Two stone guardian cards. Probably different ones. Demonic foliage again so on and so forth. So I will be incorporating that slowly into my game just to enjoy it and explore uh, the changes in the, in the mechanics. As far as the additions to, um, additions to <clears throat> the regular mobs, let's start with the uh, Black Knights. As you saw, uh, I have some... Um, instructions some manuals how to incorporate these and play them is in, a, in an expansion so we have the black knight halbardier swordsman great axeman and great swordsman right so i have some miniatures from this guy that i mentioned from treasures and troves so this is a halbardier look at him <laughs> mm-hmm Sorry, there's a fly flying here, right? So halberdier. Can you stand on your own, or you need a base like this? We need a we we have a swordsman, right? With this pointy helmet and a fantastic uh, shield. Some leftovers from the from the print, even there. We have a great swordsman knight. Yeah. Let's put him there. And my favorite, the spearman. Spearman was it? I think it was a spearman, yeah? 
with this shield. Look at that. When it's painted, this will be absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And look at these. If, in case you were wondering what these were, these are just fantastic. <laughs> card displays, card holders, same as this with these skulls on the side. You just slide it in here like that and you have a nice stand for your cards. All right. Great stuff. Great idea. Want these? Contact tro Treasures and Troves. Then we have the some Hollow Soldiers. Okay, let's have a look at some, some of the Hollow soldier, Soldiers. One of them in this crouching pose. Great. And then we have the Minor Skeletons, Skeleton Warriors. Uh, for example, this one. There's quite a lot of skeletons in this pack, in this upgrade. Yeah, another skeleton here. Pointing. Charge! Kill them! <laughs> okay. Right. Then, one of my favorites in the pack. Bone wheel skeletons. Okay. Look at these. Look at these guys. Right. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Just like in the video game. And there's another one. Some more uh, quite interesting ones, the uh, Undead Dogs, okay, and I really like these figures, they look so nasty, ugly, just like, you know, as if, they, if, they, as if their skin was ripped off, you know, you can see the ribs coming out, they will look fantastic when they're painted, can't wait to see them, right, can't wait to see them done. Crystal Golem, okay, Crystal Golem, there he is. Okay, let's, let's put him back in the box. Then we have the Badwing Demon, right? If you want, you can pause and read the read the stats, the AI card, the Demon. Pretty generic, this one, but looks all right, actually. Quite fitting to the uh, Dark Souls theme. And then we have, what else do we have? Uh, we have the Dark Wraith. Dark Wraith, look at him. <laughs> also one of the, one of my favorites in the pack. He lost some of the, some of the bones that are sticking out from his back. He lost this in transport. Maybe it's somewhere in the bag still. I need to uh, find it, but this will, this will be absolutely fantastic when it's painted so this was the dark wraith and i want to show you one more yeah there's the uh, stone guardian it's not the one i want to show you but i still have it i can see it here stone guardian with these two massive clubs yeah nice quality quite quite heavy some of these miniatures so there's plenty of plenty of material used for that so it, yeah you can feel it in your hand yeah so ah there it is this is what i wanted to show you let's put these away demonic cleric and this miniature wow absolutely fantastic this demonic creature with these uh, spiky horns wow he's i think it's a skull that's that he's holding here in his his hand yeah Okay, there you go. <clears throat> so these were the standard standard uh, minions that we will come across. Now let's have a look at some bosses. Right, what do we start with? Let's start with something huge, right? Royal Rat Authority. And this guy, this guy is massive. Let's compare him to one of the stone uh, one of the uh wheel skeletons right i lost his tail somewhere where is it oh, over here right so it came in two pieces because yeah because of <laughs> safety reasons bloody brilliant can't wait to see what he's all about as a boss there's the whole deck of his behavior cards heat up cards that's his AI card. Yeah. 
Uh, we need four encounters as usual, but he looks pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Three level one encounters, one level two, and zero level two encounters. So this shouldn't be that problem. Shouldn't be that of a problem. Twenty five HP, heats up at fifteen. How many heat up cards does he have? Two, three. Yeah, same as usual. So yeah, but looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't he? Right, back to the box. So that was the <coughs> rat, the royal uh, rat authority. Now we have some royal rat vanguards. Yeah, and uh, anything else? No, just the vanguards. And there's quite a lot of them together with some small ones. So this is a smaller version of the bigger with this bell on its neck. So one there, the other one's slightly smaller than the other one, nasty little thing. This one, like so. This is a funny nice little rat, baby rat, I think, on a skull. Okay, so that, that reminds me, this set reminds me of Oath of Oath Sworn, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> especially, what's it called, Broodmother? Yeah, with her babies, like that. Do we have any more? Yes, we do. One more. Yeah, there you go. So, they seem to be uh, a, a companion, probably, all of them, one of them, or they will spawn uh, plate companions, yeah. So they, they, they all, all of them, they have 20 HP and something happens when, when you encounter them. I don't want to go through that. I'm not reading that. If you want to pause and read it, then by all means do so right now. Okay. So these were the, the rats. Okay. Let's put them on the side. Let's leave the skulls here to make it atmospheric. <laughs> right now. Now I have something, something uh, special for you. Oh, before we go there, uh, there's one more, uh, one more thing that I want to show you. Capra Demon, one of the bosses, uh, mini bosses, I suppose. And he came in in parts, all right? I won't be able to, probably I won't be able. He has a nice base though. Yeah, you can see his arcs there. That's his body. That's his head. And I've got his uh, hands, two hands with massive, what do you call them? Cleavers? I don't know. So when you attach them, he is a massive, massive miniature to encounter, right? He came in, in pieces, so he will go uh, for the paint job in the first place. So. Painter can put him uh, uh, together, right? So that was Capra Demon. Now we're going to uh, to show you. What are we going to show you now? We'll leave that for last. We have the Black Hydra now. Ah, and I have to tell you, I'm so excited about this this monster. Will I be able to show you what it looks like with all its heads? There's one more head somewhere. Is there? I think so. I'm quite sure there is because I can see the empty space for it. But all these heads, and this is a very nice quality miniature. You can see all the details, all the scales. And my painter will love these, right? There's the tail here somewhere, yeah, like that. Uh, legs, it's got funny little legs like these. <laughs> massive thing, massive beast. But it's legs. Now it's the. Now we need, we need this leg. Okay, Clunk. like this <laughs> tiny little one. So massive beast. Can't wait to uh, encounter it on the battlefield. So again, um, <clears throat> doesn't say anything about heat up, but it, she's got a lot of um, cards. Oh, two versions. Uh-huh, one like that, one like this. I wonder what that means. Are they all for Hydra? They are. Okay, interesting, interesting. 
oh there's still different yeah so there's two different sets two different types of hydra maybe well probably i will i will find out if i read um the descriptions which i don't want to do right now okay so that was the hydra now we're going to go for <clears throat> where is it uh yeah there it is there we are there we are we're going to go for someone special Gwyn, lord of cinder and soul of cinder all right so we have a miniature right here okay for the uh for Gwyn himself lord of cinder his hand is missing uh, i suppose it's this one like that oh, no no like this right huge miniature again and look at his deck there's got to be something about this i haven't read why he has so many cards and i looked they're not duplicates they're all different he has two uh heat up values he has 50 hp at 40 he, he he heats up and then at 15 he heats up again so maybe that's one of the reasons why he has so many so many cards uh, as you can see a gazillion of them right i just need to find out what's this all about yeah what's this all about right so that was the soul of cinder we still have one more to go the final the final thing that i'm really excited about not only putting together painting but also playing um where are, where is his card there we go there we go dun, 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 dun. there we go grave lord nito himself right and his deck look at his deck it's not that big but there he is there he is this card and let me show you his miniature his miniature also came in all, all bits and pieces but i want to show you his claw and his hand because he looks absolutely fantastic uh, where's his front there he is anyways right look at him let's attach his massive claw and his uh, crooked hand arm like that something like this look at him massive thing right and this there's, there's also the base with two legs and and a, and a fitting base i can't i can't you know don't have to, <laughs> that many hands um but this figure is so climatic i and it's so heavy and sturdy these bits and pieces many of them actually fell off in transport unfortunately and some of these pieces were so small so tiny that i couldn't find them in the packaging so yeah i suppose you know you have to live with that there's his legs also very nice quality there's one leg here um it goes in ah no we still need an extension <laughs> an extension that goes in like this then one of his legs go in there it's a huge miniature and the way he printed it is fantastic where's the other leg and hello there's the other leg yeah so we slide it in there and he can actually when he's glued and properly put together he will stand on his own massive 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 thing so there you are that was um something slightly different i hope you enjoyed it i always enjoy going through miniatures and you know discovering how i can put them into the game and see um how this upgrades uh, what i already have and since i have everything for dark souls i can't wait for the new core set and also can't wait to have these painted and um Oh, no, hang on a minute. There's one more thing I have to show you. 
that I haven't showed you. Um, ah, yeah. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> the highlight, right? Black Flame 3 there. Uh, and Father. Yeah, where's the, where's the Father? Come on. Father, Father Ariando. Yeah. And Sister Frida. Look at that. We have that miniature as well from him. Look, look at this. He also came in pieces, right? Let me try and hold it. There she, there's the father, there's the sister, there's the bull, right? Uh, he's sitting on a, you know, on a collapsing chair. There is a nice fitting base there that, you know, keeps them all together. But the way the miniature works is, is like this. Okay, she's, uh, he's holding her with his hand. And she's carrying two sides, which I have somewhere on the side, but I won't be able to reach it. So there you are. This was the highlight <laughs> together with Nito, uh, Father Ariando and Sister uh, Frida. There they are. So now it's done. Whew. There's so many things. Um, so once again, guys, pop in on Etsy to uh, treasure, Treasures and Trove shop. Have a chat with the guy and he, I'm telling you, he's a fantastic guy who will look after you from the, right from the start to the very end of your transaction with him. And I, I, and I guarantee you that if you can, um, you know, bear the transport costs with all that crap that's going on in the world right now, then you will be coming back to him all the time because he's a great guy worth, uh, worth supporting and worth ordering from. So anyways, that's that. That was the uh, Dark Souls the board game unboxing of a lot of custom content that you will be seeing uh, in, in, a, in, a, in the near future on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if this is something that you enjoyed, like going through miniatures. I have actually uh, absolutely dozens and dozens of miniatures from different games. And if you want me to showcase them, then please let me know in the comment section below and we can we can organize that in a separate video. But until then, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one shortly. Bye bye.